Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and I have another pitcher who has had ulnar sided pain, felt a pop, has been aching. It's kind of a classic history. They played college baseball, and they come in for an arthrogram of the right elbow. And we did an arthrogram over here. You can see some lidocaine in the deep soft tissues. Here's the radial head. Here's the radiocapitellar joint on the lateral side. And I must have injected here into the common extensor tendon. You can see this strip of uh, edema fluid separating the common extensor tendon from the deep structures here. Usually they're inseparable. You can't really tell them apart. But this is the lateral ulnar collateral and radial collateral ligaments here. I guess the radial collateral ligament is probably coming off right here. It seems to be attached to the radius right here coming up. And if we go a little bit forward, I can see the lateral ulnar collateral. It's rare to see it so well. But you can see it go around here. We can follow it back here. Follow it back here, all the way down here to the ulna. So it makes this loop around, just like that. And now on the ulnar side, this is where the pathology is, we have the ulnar collateral ligament. There's an anterior band and there's a posterior band. And the posterior band inserts on this horizontal portion. It's easy to get it confused. Sometimes I have to look it up to make totally sure or stop and think about it for a while. But here is the horizontal portion, the back, the posterior band is more broad and it fans out here and this patient has a partial tear of that posterior band. There's a little bit of contrast on another view and in this one some fluid tracking between the uh, periosteal attachment and the posterior band there. And if we come down here we're going to look at the ulnar collateral ligament attachment to the sublime tubercle. So the sublime tubercle is a pointy part here in the ulna and there is a little cleft of fluid right there, and that is abnormal. Normally the ulnar collateral ligament at that sublime tubercle attachment comes down and it blends just beautifully with the bone. There's never a cleft of fluid, so even the most subtle little cleft like this, sometimes even more subtle than that, represents a tear. So this patient has had a tear of both the uh, proximal and distal portions of the UCL, and also back here where this ulnar collateral ligament is partially stripped and pulled away from the humerus, there's a tear of the joint capsule back here and some contrast is leaking out. So thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.